What's up BP athletes, it's Spence Crosby giving you guys another exclusive video. And today's video is kind of special because we're going to be discussing the vegan challenge. Finally, stay tuned. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you are new to this channel, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button followed by the notification bell so that way you are notified for future release videos. So let's jump into it. I ended my vegan challenge officially two Saturdays ago and I'm going to tell you guys I was MIA because of I was extremely sick. Um, believe it or not, my stomach was killing me and the reason being I had Chicago deep dish pizza. Now, when you're transitioning from a diet to another diet, let's just say a healthier diet, you can't splurge. And I splurged on pizza, uh, tons of carbs, donuts, sweets, and I felt absolutely terrible. I'm telling you guys, um, I was out for a week. I was missing out on tons of sleep. Uh, my stomach was just aching all night and I and I couldn't get it to stop so it was rough it was a rough week for me uh, definitely if you make these transitions make sure you do it little by little don't splurge like I did and now I am back and I feel absolutely great and I'm ready to tell you guys about the whole experience as far as this 30-day vegan challenge went I felt absolutely great my energy levels were definitely up there um, I felt a lot more lighter you know usually when you don't eat as healthy you feel heavier and then when you eat healthier you feel a lot lighter so I felt lighter I didn't feel as bloated I felt stronger too because I felt lighter and doing calisthenics you definitely want to feel lighter as you're doing certain moves so doing pull-ups and push-ups were definitely a lot easier if you guys don't know I'm a martial artist as well so doing kicks and punches you felt a lot more faster and efficient when it came to vegan gains as I like to call it I did make significant gains in strength and in size in some areas so I'm gonna tell you guys the certain areas I did gain make gains in as well as the weight that I did lose as far as weight goes I started out at 184 and then I went down to 180 so I lost four, four pounds there my arms did get bigger I went from 14.75 to 15.5 my chest did get a little bit smaller I lost an inch in my chest my waist as well I decreased an inch in my waist which is great and then my glutes and my lower half, I lost all inches in that as well. So overall, I felt really good. I'm glad I lost the weight as well as the inches in my waist, most importantly. So I must say I did make those gains that I wanted to and I felt great about it. So the common question that I always get is being vegan expensive. And I'm going to say yes and no. So yes, being vegan is expensive because you want to eat healthier so when it comes to getting vegetables and you want to make sure they're organic or not GMO you want to get organic vegetables you want to make sure you get your good meat substitutes which you're gonna pay a lot more money for it like generally it's gonna be like at least four to five dollars for something um, when it comes to vegan meat su meat substitutes um, your fruits are gonna be a little bit more expensive because or organic of course and then your snacks you know, being a vegan, you know, when I was doing this challenge, I definitely wanted to snack, so I had to look for healthier snack alternatives. And some of those snack alternatives were blackberries, vegan cookies. I also had strawberries. I also had kale, spinach, chard. My meat substitutes such as seitan and other meat substitutes that I'll list in the comment section below, so that way you guys know what to look out for. When it comes to the no portion, definitely. You can eat poorly being a vegan, which a lot of people who do vegan, they do. So like Oreo cookies are poor choices because it's considered vegan. Cereal, um, you have your your milk, like almond milk, hemp milk. Not saying those are bad, but definitely when I have my splurges, I would have my cereal, such as Fruit Loops or Frosted Flakes, which definitely I felt the impact from those. I felt bloated, I, I retained water, and I just didn't feel as strong and I felt heavy. So you definitely, you can eat like that being a vegan. You just got to be cautious of it because it will hurt you. And to add on to some of the 
poor choices you can make as a vegan, definitely be careful of the vegan foods that's out there. Like some brands will say, oh, this is vegan, it's non-GMO. But if you look at the ingredients, they're not good ingredients. You have to be careful of some things like soy protein isolate. Uh, some of the other soy products that are out there aren't beneficial for you. They can hurt you in the long run. So definitely be cautious of what you're putting into your body. And I always check the ingredients. Like when it came to me eating healthy for the most part being a vegan, I checked my ingredients. When I had my splurges, yes, I didn't look at the ingredients. Because I know a lot of cereal, if not all of it, is GMO. So I made sure that when I had those, I drank a lot of water and I worked out the next day because I didn't want that stuff in my body. Another helpful tip I'm going to include is being vegan isn't all about making a drastic dietary lifestyle change. You can certainly do changes, but you can do it in moderation. For example, pizza. You don't have to use cheese that comes from animal. You can use vegan cheese. If you don't want to go to the cheese route in general, you can just put your toppings and your sauce in there. So there's little substitutes that exist now that you don't have to worry about just breaking the arm to get something. And another question, would I do it again? Yes. I have been vegetarian for about seven years now, and I was vegan for two of those years. And I feel absolutely great. And certainly, you don't have to go the vegan route to be considered healthy. You can eat whatever you want to eat, really, that's out there. Everything is about moderation. However, if you want to make, let's just, let's just say, more significant changes, you can start off with being vegan for a week, you know, a couple of days, and then work up to a month vegetarian for a month. Just try different things that works for your body and just listen to your body. And yes, you will lose weight because you're naturally just restricting the amount of calories you're eating. But as I said before, please be aware that you can be a poor vegan. You can eat bad and you retain water and you gain weight. So be aware of that and just listen to your body as I said before. Thank you guys for tuning in for another Building Physiques exclusive video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am sorry once again for being in hiatus when it comes to my videos. I promise that I'm getting back on my weekly release of videos. And if you guys haven't seen, be sure to check out my Instagram. I released a picture of me doing a Superman push-up. So I'm going to have a tutorial on how to do a Superman push-up coming very soon. So stay tuned. Peace out, BB crew.